Hello world, this is Hacker 7 and today I'm doing a program review on a program from um, the same company as Norton, if you use that as your antivirus. This uh, program is called Norton Power Eraser. Um, here's the download link, I'll have it in the description below. Basically, it is for, it's a portable tool um, made for basically you can put on your flash drive and plug into any computer, run it, and it detects viruses. Um, it's it's really well. It's good because your 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 computer might have a virus, and let's say you can you can't boot into it, but you might be able to boot into uh, safe mode. So what you can do is you can boot into safe mode, plug this flash drive, plug your flash drive with this program on it, and to get rid of the virus that that's blocking off a lot of your applications. Now here's a, a warning. Because Norton Power Racer uses aggressive methods to detect threats, there is a risk that some legitimate programs for your maybe for removal, you should use this tool very carefully. Basically what it means is Norton Power Racer uses a very aggressive scanning method. And so sometimes your um completely okay programs will come up with viruses. Now again you should double check because if you get a program and you think it's okay sometimes just typing on Google and searching it will tell you okay this is a legitimate program and no I should not delete this now if it if um, the, it detects something and you have no idea what it is then um, then you should get rid of it so you go to the page down it and, I, and it's going to be download button here and all you have to do is it, it's a portable file and all you do is save it, save it somewhere. And once you're done, you can just run it. Here we go. So you, just, you have to accept it. It's basically saying that um, you don't own it. Awesome stuff. Accept. And here we go. So here's uh, this, the home screen of it. Um, so you have scan for risks. So it finds a fix, including rootkits. System restart is required. Now you have history. I don't have any history because I haven't done anything yet. And you have options for advanced users. So this is where it logs the file. Um, now, if you don't include the root, rootkit scan, it won't require system restart. Now, if you guys don't know what rootkit scan is, I do suggest keeping it on. Um, unless you're just doing a clean checkup, you know, just a basic one. You've, you're pretty sure you have nothing, but you just want to, you know, for the sake of it, you can disable it. But if um, things are happening to your computer, I do suggest enabling this because a rootkit requires restart because rootkits um, deepen your computer and basically allowing to restart allows. Norton Power Eraser to get inside the deep files and do a better scan, rootkit scan, to where those rootkit files are. So, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to actually disable this because I already know I have no viruses. And I'm just going to do a scan for risks. And what I'm going to see here is ch checking for updates. Now, the whole thing's actually one. So, you can click here and move it. You can click here and move it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll come back to you guys when the when it's done scanning and give you guys about an estimated time of how long it took. Okay, I'm back. Um, okay, so this is this scan took about uh, seven eight minutes and it found about here you go some detects, but um, I'm not gonna actually remove these because most of these I actually. Uh, did it myself. So Kane is this this a hacking program. So this the, the, like I said before, some of the hacking programs and some of your programs will come up as bad. So this is a hacking program, comes up bad. Net tools is also a hacking program. So a lot of these are hacking programs and or things that I have tweaked and are not good. So you guys can click fix. I'm just gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna mess up with that stuff. And um, so that's about it for this video. Again I'll have down link in the description their description below. Besides that, have a nice day. This is the Hacker Chip Low 7, and I'm signing off.